Getting our first look at the 15 year old accused of opening fire inside his high school in Michigan yesterday. He's been hit with a slew of charges, including four counts of first degree murder and one count of terrorism. Prosecutors are also charging him as an adult. Well, he made his first court appearance today, and our Linda Schmidt is in the newsroom for us now with more on the investigation. Linda? Yeah, hi there, Stephen Laurie. Well, first of all, authorities still tonight do not know the motive for this mass shooting, but the prosecutor says they have, quote, a mountain of evidence that the shooting was planned. And hey, Mr. Crumley, could you state your full name for us, please? Um, Ethan Robert Crumbly. Thank you. 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly arraigned on murder and terrorism charges in the mass shooting yesterday at his Michigan high school. He is being tried as an adult. Prosecutors are also considering filing charges against his parents, Jennifer and James Crumbly. Authorities say the father bought the semi-automatic handgun a few days before the shooting. The teenager is accused of killing four of his classmates and injuring numerous others, including a teacher. One of the students killed, 16-year-old Tate Meyer, a rising football star. Rain is just like actual football, tough, muddy, everything about us is tough. A lieutenant provided new details about the shooting. The school security video shows Ethan exit a, a bathroom in the hallway and begin shooting at students. Students then barricading themselves in classrooms behind stacks of desks and chairs. Others <laughs> racing out of school to safety. Officers say they have a journal written by Ethan Crumbly taken from his backpack where he expresses his desire to murder students as well as two videos recovered from Crumbly's cell phone. Did a video made by him the night before the incident um, wherein he talked about shooting and killing students the next day at Hoxford High School. The prosecutor saying the teenager planned the mass shooting. I am absolutely sure after reviewing the evidence that it isn't even a close call. It was absolutely premeditated. The teenager and his parents had spoken with school officials that morning at the school about some concerning behavior in class. But authorities say there was no indication of a possible shooting. Now, after the 2016 presidential election, the shooter's mother wrote an open letter to then-President Trump as a blog post. She talked about school problems and financial struggles. She also celebrated her right to own a gun. And one more piece of information on this story for you today. The sheriff saying today that there are no records that the shooter was being bullied at the school. Stephen Laurie, back upstairs to you. All right. Thanks, Linda. All right.